Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Another unboxing day. New guitar is always fun. Very much. I'm 56 years old, but still <laughs> having so much fun. So, as you see, what is this? So, let's find out. Okay? So, it's, it's not too heavy. And make sure I use this knife very carefully. I open it. <clears throat> so, I think this is the top. Just you know, carefully to open. Oops. How are you doing, everybody? All right, doing good. Yeah. So definitely, I'm gonna do more uh, lesson video, some gear demo. I would love to do some of the vintage guitar, like you know, Fender, Gibson. Um, you know kind of a basic one and then some of the great amplifier and so pack this <clears throat> so what do you think what do you think of this guitar it's kind of big right see it's kind of big and uh, by the way I just ordered these you know for a while ago and John Mayer's uh, like a website came to, you know this is great I you know this limited edition so I got this pair in you know, a other uh, dark blue one for Sammy too so all right, open up. Nice packaging. Arrived really nicely. You can use it like this. Oh, yeah. My see, my head is a little too big. Won't, won't, won't uh, you know. <clears throat> so this one, you know. <laughs> I told you, I read it. A lot pile of uh, guitar case. Oh, yeah. So, orange wood. But we have to do this. We must do this. Um, okay. Tr tradition. I have to, you know, um, toss this box. I don't know which way is better, but I think this is good. All right. One, two, three. Huh. So many boxes what are you gonna do anyway so <clears throat> orange wood thank you so much so this is really exciting exciting Ooh, what's this so you know uh, So this is a baritone guitar. I talk a little too loud, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, Fisherman pickups. Wow, this is really cool. It's like, it's not too big, you know. <music> and also, <clears throat> so this one, it's not really expensive guitar. So, you know, comes with nice guitar case. And um, let's see, yeah, this guitar called Hugo Baritone Live, 27 inch scale, so a little bit uh, bigger, and then solid stick, st not the sticker, what's, how you pronounce this one? Sitica spruce, and layered um, power follow, you know, side and back, and neck, neck is mahogany, and then um, fretboard, Oven, oh, not oh, not oven gold turkey, but oven gukal. I don't know how to exp, you know, s, s, you know, forty-four millimeter net width, fisherman flex flex, um, plus T. Yeah, so that's um, yeah, idea. So now, let me see. I just have to make sure what I'm doing. All right. Yeah, and I, you know, and the great part is a. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, 
orange wood, they always tune up, you know, to, in tune. And also, of course, <clears throat> they only ship in the United States. I kind of understand because you want to really do, you know, a great job in one thing. And sometimes if you go too far away, like, you know, ship really far away, then many things can go wrong and very di difficult to take care of every detail, especially uh, inexpensive guitar, especially, and more shipping, you know, return costs more money for the company. So I, I believe that's probably, um, you know, when something working and that's uh, what we do. Yeah, just like uh, my um, accelerator guitar playing, um, I just released DVD book set, you know, and I, I made that long time ago in Japan. And kind of similar way, one thing I want to really, you know, I wanted to do a really great job. So I'm from Japan. I'm a lot of experiments, experience, you know, in America. And, you know, I thought maybe, you know, explain everything in Japanese to do the best instruction, you know, book and uh, DVD. And nothing to do with uh, this... Uh, One thing, um, a lot of people, you know, baritone guitar tune up B, which is which is low. But what happens is, if you play low low notes, it's a little bit uh, too low. <laughs> you see, if I play just funk, it doesn't work that well. See that right there, it doesn't work because so much, um, like, um, you know, um, like too, too dark, you know, like, see, oh. almost like a turn around some of the, you know, low and high notes. So if it's too low, it's not that great. So like, for example, this, this one, hybrid guitar here, and then this is, again, nothing to do with, you know, this, this, uh, but, uh, um, I, I'm borrowing this from hybrid guitar and then um, this one I tune up to uh, C bottom you know and that's how um, <clears throat> Charlie Hunter you know Charlie Hunter so now this one in tune C so maybe if I tune this one to C, See now, I like the sounds because, uh, you know, a um, little bit more. What you hear, even.
I think a baritone guitar is supposed to be like that. It just sound really inspire you. It's that not the regular guitar. It's not just regular guitar uh, tuned down. It just feels different because a little bit bigger and certain sound is just so fabulous. <laughs> That's why I, I just didn't decide um, what to play because um, when I do demo, uh, demoing or uh, unboxing already, as you see, I, I, I think two, three songs to put it in because otherwise kind of boring somebody just jamming on the spot. But this guitar, when I unboxing, I just wrote a lot of ideas, but I thought I should ignore these ideas because something I hear and I have to react because that's the real, I think, unboxing, you know. So, yeah, see, open. I'm not thinking. <laughs> fine, okay, fine. I'm not sure in tune, but... Other things, you know, baritone guitar, it's, it's a little bit low note, so if you hit too much, then vibrates too much. Like that, not so great, you know. Oh, you know who's am amazing? Andy Mackie. I saw him, his live with opening up for, uh, you know, uh, Tommy Emmanuel. And Tommy was amazing too, of course, but way Andy plays through his guitar and baritone, and sounds so huge and what he does very percussive I can what do you think I just tune up to see I just improvise and uh, yeah so check this out before I was playing um, B, okay, and then if I play just funky, it didn't work, right? How that sounds? I didn't really practice for a few days, so this is really revision. And always amazing about you know orange was guitars because 
their setup is un un unbelievable. I mean, they have a really great team. Great team, you know, I know the owner, and uh, great people. See, I like pe talk to people. It's really great. <clears throat> and this setup is really, really good. I mean, I tune up by ear. Wow, this, I, I can really play this guitar. Now, I'm just in part of this, is, it's $465. Wow. See, a lovely song doesn't work. Too low. doesn't work. But see that open chord. Something simple. Just practice like, you know, E chords. Alright, just G. A. See, like, you know, this is really important, you know, songwriting. These dots, third fret, and, you know, fifth and seventh. If you follow these, you can make really great songs. forgot about I am making the video so I think I have to stop no I, I'm gonna do you know demo video too but I think you get the idea I just improvised a little bit so you know <clears throat> came with um, like a you know B tuning you see everything down to B and then I changed to C I like a C so now this is C guitar you know regular guitar is E right key is E so this is a C
I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching Tomofuji the music. And again, this is orange wood. Hugo, I don't know why it's a Hugo. Hugo Bariton and $465. Not bad. I think really good and really light. See, really light. <laughs> I, before I drop, I have to finish it. <clears throat> and then support John Mayer, please. All right, and uh, what else? Yeah, by the way, I taught Eric Krasno, I taught Adam Shumin from Letters, and my new student's name is Tom Mish. So those guys, all my students. Cool, right? <laughs> so see you soon. Thank you so much for watching Tom the Music. Subscribe to this channel, and make sure you set the button so that you get the notification. And I'm gonna have fun with this. All right, thank you.